CIG is making great strides at the very beginning of 2024 with now a static server meshing tech preview playtest uh, that happened yesterday and uh, you need to hear more about this. For this one, it was specifically for the Evo Cardi themselves and um, there is an NDA, no streaming, no videos, no screenshots, um, but the patch notes specifically was also made available, which um, they did mention that they will start doing that moving forward. So I will include that in the description of this video. Okay, so, um, so what it says here is it says we have a very special one for you that will help change Star Citizen Universe going forward with static server meshing. In its first long series of meshing playtests, today's build will consist of shards with two servers statically meshed with one running standing and then another one running pyro. You will be able to choose which location to go into. We know you will love to see pyro again, but we would really love a healthy mix of both systems, of both star systems populated to get the data needed for Ivan, Clyde, Paul and the whole server meshing team to continue to iterate and improve meshing. So now they do mention a caveat that says here, do not use the jump gates. We are issuing a warning about the jump gates. This is currently a bug that is breaking everyone's game in the PU with you if you attempt to use them. If you use them in today's build, it will break everyone on the server with a bug that will require them to relog. We will consider this a PvP action, which is against Evil Cardi rules. Okay, so it's exciting times. To be honest, the jump the jump gates are there, the wormhole is there, but we cannot use them at this time. So later on in a future playtest, they will allow people to be able to transition between the two star systems. Now, when Evil Cardi gets the go-ahead to start testing this, man, this is this is when we know we're there. You know, we're at the gate where star season will start to get um, an influx of new gameplay loops and uh, really the future of this game the reason why we you know support this this game and, and cig is here you know so let's continue on it says play test instructions the audience is evil Cardi, as it says and says the feature is static server meshing to dedicated game servers stanton and pyro server crash recovery is also enabled with this so now the focus is going to be general gameplay interaction delay reproduction in the PU only and it says it's going to be in the tech preview channel. The build is going to be 3.22 and it was a only a four hour play test that they did yesterday. And it says we will have a dedicated issue console environment open for reporting issues. So that's normal. Okay, so they have a few known issues in this one. It says pyro base. It says pyro based missions are not currently offered and stanton based missions may be offered while in pyro but will not be completable. Outposts and settlement locations on pyro planet do not have quantum markers. While server crash recovery is enabled, not all gameplay systems will recover gracefully. Please let us know where if you see issues. While the stanting jump points are present in this build, they are not functional and attempting to use them may result in a graphical anomaly. We know that you're very excited and we look forward to testing this with you soon, but please avoid them for now. And it says the jump drive UI that you may see in some vehicles is a placeholder. Can't wait, can't wait to see the jump drive UI actually. It'll be interesting to see that as well. It says callouts. Stanton or Pyro may be selectable when joining the game. It is not currently possible to travel between them. Once you've chosen the starting system, it will not be possible to change it later. Man, that's gonna be a hard choice for Evo, man, to, to pick uh, Stanton over Pyro. That's gonna be a tough one. And the end of Spectrum post with this is a big milestone. We want to thank you all so much for testing along with us. That is interesting. You guys let me know your thoughts on this are you guys excited are you guys uh how long do you think we'll go in terms of testing this how long do you think it'll be do you think we'll get static server mission in 3.23 i think we will i think we're going to have an extensive test with 3.23 maybe a 3.23 x patch is going to be um it's going to have static server mission and i think we're going to have a long testing cycle with that 
um, before the 4.0. I think the 4.0 is going to be a static server meshing with a refined and robust version of that uh, that platform, the um, uh, of that tech. So uh, this way we won't be facing too much issues. Um, but um, I think they're going to use a 3.20p build to refine it and um, fix all the bugs. Hopefully all goes well. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.